Yo, what's up everyone? It's V Sips. Welcome to the channel. It's been a little while, almost two months since my last video. I've been pretty busy in real life IRL with some stuff, so I hope you guys can understand and make sure you guys smash that like button and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date. From here on out, we're gonna have a couple videos every week on Kingdom Hearts, Nintendo, Persona, Shingai Tensei, and much more content on the channel here on It's V Sips now. Let's get started. We have a lot of stuff I do want to talk about. We have some Persona 25th to discuss from this past week's first announcement for the Persona 25 anniversary. We also have some Shimura Tensei 5 I want to discuss on the lead up to Shimura Tensei 5's release in November, as well as the news of a Nintendo Direct happening on the 23rd, which is tomorrow, Thursday at 3 o'clock p.m. Pacific Time and 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now let's get started with this video with the Persona 5 25th anniversary and the recent announcement that they did. Oh my god. Okay, now this was probably the worst way to start the Persona 25th anniversary. They had a video segment called Persona 25 Times. And they had Morgana as the host. And for the West, we just got wallpapers. <laughs> for the most part, we just got wallpapers. Yeah, there's the Shop Atlas page, which is going to be officially opened in October. Which, that's going to be cool for anyone who wants to pick up uh, specific merch. However, the big announcement was really just a concert in Japan for Persona, which is going down... Uh, in November if I recall so that's gonna be a cool concert for those who are able to watch and able to see it live however for us in the West we really just got wallpapers that's kind of a huge yikes for us here in the West Atlas um, Persona's 20th anniversary especially this first announcement specifically was promoted with a yellow background for the first announcement and since the yellow background of some TV stack made everyone think, oh, this is going to be a Persona 4 related announcement. Maybe Persona 4 Golden on Switch and Xbox and PlayStation? Nah, we in the West get wallpapers. <laughs> uh, so yeah, the Persona 25th anniversary is kind of not going that well. Uh, I've seen many expect that Persona 4 Golden or 4 Arena Ultimax, some of the actual games are going to be announced in December. And honestly, I'm going to make a prediction right here. We're not going to get any new game releases or ports announced for release on that December announcement date. That's just my personal prediction. And I hope to be wrong because I'm tired of filler announcements and Atlas just loves to have an announcement leading up to another announcement. <laughs> That's pretty much what this uh, announcement was the other day uh, when they announced everything that they did. Which wasn't a whole lot of anything, to be honest. Now, we're going to get into a little bit of SMT5. Over the course of the past month and a half to two months that I have been on my uh, hiatus, I've been taking a uh, personal break, real life stuff I've been having to take care of in my personal life, my personal health, and all that kind of stuff. But during that time, we've had the SMT5 Bethel trailer, we've had a new SMT5 news segment, and we've had a couple other things here and there in the lead up to SMT 5's release and I am so excited and I'm glad to see that many of you are still very excited as well because I still get comments on some of my old videos I still get some responses about your guys thoughts of what's going to happen with SMT 5 and it's great to see that the community is very tight knit and very close together for such an amazing experience coming soon this November with Shim Ground Tensei 5 I'm excited and hope all of you who are watching are just as excited for Nintendo's Game shattering, huge release, Shimon Tensei 5. Now, let's get into the Nintendo Direct, which is happening on the 23rd of September, 3 o'clock p.m. Pacific Time, 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. Tune in for a live stream featuring roughly 40 minutes of information focused mainly on Nintendo Switch games launching this winter. That is huge. Literally, 40 minutes of information is pretty huge. This is going to be a very hefty direct for sure. And there's definitely a lot of potential. I think we're definitely going to see more Metroid Dread 
for sure. We're definitely going to see maybe some more Shimano Tensei 5. We're not going to see any Persona at this Nintendo Direct. Don't expect Persona for a Golden at this Direct, guys. Don't expect it. <laughs> but uh, we're definitely going to see Metroid Dread. We're definitely going to see Shimano Tensei 5. I think there's a possibility that we're going to see maybe a little bit more of one of the Pokemon games, either Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, or either Legends Arceus. I think we could see some more of one of those games, possibly, at this Direct. There could be a huge possibility that we see a couple other games that have been on the horizon as well. And for anyone who's watching has made this far in the video, let me know some of your thoughts of the Persona 25th Anniversary, SD5, the lead up so far, as well as your predictions for this Nintendo Direct and predictions in general for Nintendo going forward on the Switch. Love to know some of you guys' thoughts because I definitely think we're going to have a possibility of also seeing Nintendo 64 games and or Game Boy games being unveiled for the Switch Online service. That's going to be my final prediction as well. I think we're definitely going to see that be a possibility at this Nintendo Direct tomorrow, the 23rd of September. I think it's very possible. I think it's very likely. There's also been some trademarks going around the past few days, so it seems very imminent and probable and possible to me that that's going to be happening at the Nintendo Direct tomorrow. Thank you all so much for watching this video. It's also my first video back in just about a month and a half to two months. I've been very busy IRL with a lot of personal stuff I'm trying to get done in my life, trying to get fixed with a lot of things. So thank you guys for sticking around on this channel and being subscribed. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I really do appreciate it and I appreciate each and every one of you. And we're on the climb to a thousand subscribers. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you smash that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that notification bell to never single upload on the channel. Also, don't forget to smash that like button. Every time you guys smash that like button, it helps the videos and the channel so much here. Thank you guys for your continued support. Like I said in the very beginning of the video, I do plan to get back to a more regular schedule with about two or so videos per week. Two or so videos per week is gonna be the schedule going forward. Whether it's a news related topic or whether it's a topic that I just wanna discuss in a video, you'll be getting a couple of videos per week from here on out. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been It's V Sips, and I will see you all next time. Peace.